lesson today is exactly what you see seventh fundamental quantity uh, so I'm gonna come to the lesson in a second but let me explain why measuring uh, thing is very important uh, especially for scientists uh, you see uh, uh, this if I uh, fill it with water I need to measure it uh, and the uh, unit we use is milliliter to measure uh, the amount of water inside this on the other hand if I want to uh, do some study uh, on this one I can uh, measure if I for example want to know how what is the mass of this one I put it on the scale and measure it using for example uh, uh, mass taking its mass so now uh, there are two uh, uh, way of measuring things. One is a metric system, another one is customary system. Uh, scientists uh, use metric system, and we call it uh, simply uh, SI system international. Pioneered by Lavoisier, uh, the father of chemistry. Uh, so the system of international pioneered by Lavoisier. Customary system. Many people, many regular people, still uh, use customary system. Uh, in fact, most of the in the United States, most of the many people, majority per, uh, number of people use customary system, but. We are going to use customer system, we are going to use metric system, and we are going to talk about seven fundamental quantity that scientists use for, for physics, for any sciences, especially physics. So let's draw a table. This is uh, as big as it can go. So let's make uh, seven rows, one row. Four, five, six, and seven. Last but not the least is amount of substance. Okay, now let's go over the unit. What units do we use for length? Meter. Not surprising. Meter is metric system. Call it as I, as I described in the beginning. Time, second, mass, no, run, temperature, Kelvin, electricity, and pure, luminous intensity, candela. Last but not the least, amount of substance mole. Now we're gonna go over the symbol now. Because in math and science we don't want to write it down. So symbol. So meter, big ass symbol for the meter. M, small m, small s for second. K for exponential. Candela and small 
compare the things with something else. And this time we're going to compare it with, most of the time we're going to compare customer system. So comparing it with customer system. Now, in customer system, uh, for length, we use uh, either inch or foot. If it is more than one foot, we call it feet. Uh, so we're going to compare meter with inch or foot. So one meter is equal to 40 inch, or we just write it down. Or one meter is how many foot? 3.28 feet. One second is um, one times 10 to the power negative nine uh, nanosecond mass one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pound that is in customer system we call it pound metric system we call it kz this is the language for scientists regular people still use pound so this is the comparison one kz is uh, about 2.2 pounds. Uh, let's move to the next one. Temperature 1 Kelvin is about 2 point, well, negative uh, 274, I believe. Uh, Celsius. People in Europe use, especially in England, use Celsius. Now, here in the United States, we use uh, uh, Fahrenheit, that's 458. Uh, Fahrenheit. Check, check in the book. Maybe this is off by by some some number. But yes, close estimation. Now electricity ampere. Uh, ampere is a big thing. We don't call it ampere. We call it micro ampere. So one micro ampere is equal to about one times ten to the power negative uh, six uh, ampere. Luminous intensity we use for uh, for 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 light. For example, candle. It actually the unit actually come from candle. When you lit candle, what happened? It goes all direction. And you want uh, the measure the light, uh, the amount of light in a given amount of space. And how do you do that? One candela is about two fifty four times ten to the power twelve uh, hertz. One, 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 one of a second of hertz. Now, last but not the least, amount of substance. Uh, the amount of substance is actually the one of the important uh, fundamental quantity for for chemistry. You use chemistry students use it every day. Um, one mole is equal to one times ten to the power twenty three. What is that mean? Uh, well. That mean is very simple. What is one dozen of egg? One dozen of egg is, a, is about 12 eggs. So one mole of, for example, look at this guy, hydrogen. One mole of hydrogen is equal to one mole of hydrogen is equal to one times 10 to the power 23 hydrogen atom. So now today we did, uh, we actually went over uh, uh, seven fundamental points.